quick disclaimer before the video starts, the games that you're about to see here may or may not reflect the final game as they're in their early access state or in their demo state. So take that into consideration when viewing what you're about to see. And if you want to support these games, you can try these games for yourselves on Steam. I provide a link in the description so you can go try them out for yourselves. And if you like what you see, consider supporting the official release. F-Zero is a series that is capable of much more than Nintendo is currently doing with it now. Needless to say, not much. This prompted fans of the series to create their own F-Zero inspired racing games to fill the void. There are some that I rather enjoy, while others that I wish had a better impression. Regardless, these games prove that F-Zero has what it takes to not only be relevant in this day and age, but also there are some interesting ideas that can be contests for future F-Zero games. So here's a list of a few F-Zero fan games. Aero GPX was one game that I was semi looking forward to, taking inspiration from F0X specifically. Aero GPX delivers high speed racing on and off the track, literally. It's not only on the track where all the mayhem goes down, but in the air too, as long as the machine is within the wind tunnel. But it's a good mix of on road, off road gameplay. It's like if F0X ingrained some Star Fox flying implemented flight controls, which I consider a nice addition. Plus, there's a soundtrack, which is something you would hear from F0X. As for the courses, they complement the speed and and chaos that can happen in this game. It is important for high speed games like this. If an object is meant to move at high speeds, then there should be courses that is built for speed, and Aero GPS accomplishes this greatly. If you're looking for a different take on F0X while also maintaining what makes F0X great, then I recommend Aero GPX. It's colorful, fast paced, has a neat flight mechanic that may tickle your fancy, and the music is definitely a listen to. Side note here, I originally was going to record the XF Extreme Formula demo, but I realized the demo was removed from Steam, so I had to rely on videos on the game to develop some impression instead of just playing the game myself. Hopefully I can try this out when there's a dirt cheap sale so I don't have to spend too much. But as a first impression by sight, I dig how this game looks in place. Really feels that F-Zero GX Void. HD port any day yesterday, Nintendo. Star Racer is a take on the classic F-Zero formula, specifically F-Zero on the Super Nintendo. Now, even though this is classic F-Zero, this also incorporates the flight mechanic from Aero GPX, but now with laser beams. This can potentially be a death race because of this. Even on the track, it's especially dangerous because there are machines all over the place. It's not like F-Zero where you race against seven other machines all while avoiding the annoying ones, but almost has a similar capacity to that of F-Zero X or GX. You're racing against 10 or more racers and it could be a jumble mess because of it. Compared to F-Zero on the Super Nintendo, F-Zero just feels better to play. Star Wars just feels slippery, like simply turning as you would doesn't feel as sharp or precise as you usually would. Star Racers also has a feature to customize your own track, which is both a good and a bad thing. Even though you can make courses that feels creative and challenging at the same time, there are some that were better left not created to begin with. The sprite work also is inferior to that of F-Zero, but on its own they're well drawn, but I personally prefer its predecessor. Star Racers is a rough attempt on classic F-Zero, but I I can see a strong suit with this approach. I just wish it felt better to play and was a little bit open size on the courses that makes falling off a breeze. At least he spawned after falling though, so that's a bless. Pacer is a combination of F-Zero and Jackass combat racing. Even though this is mostly F-Zero influence, using weapons is similar to Jack Eggs, but to be honest, using weapons in Jack Eggs is more thrilling. Where I think Pacer shines the best is the overall aesthetic. I really like the futuristic look of this from the locations to the vehicles themselves, though I think the courses themselves could have expanded a bit to accommodate for the other machines. Plus, you can customize your own vehicle, which I was quite fond of if I had the in-game currency to buy it. I can see potential in Pacer as being a combat racing type of F-Zero game, but it left me wanting this game to be bigger and better. If it truly was like F-Zero mixed with Jack X, then I would have no doubt that that would be a game worth coming back to, but for me, it's simply a one and done. Unlimited is weird. I start a party as the game says and off I went. No Grand Prix, no time attack, I just started the game and just played. There are no repercussions for driving off the road and I just had a leisurely decent time. First I played a nice city which was alright, gotta get a sense of speed, trying between the buildings was cool and then I realized I could just take off. No using ramps or flying through any turbulences. I can literally just take flight and stay airborne as long as possible. Other courses I played were the canyon, outer space, and even the clouds. The only thing keeping me occupied was the music, which you can change at any time. I like the idea of going from driving to flying whenever, but without a proper race, there wasn't really much adrenaline to treat this as a typical race. I just drove, flown around, and it was alright. It left a weird impression on me, but Unlimited was true to his name. I just was there was some gaming aspect to this to make this a racing game. At least it was pretty to look at. 
So here's something I discovered last minute, G0 World GP. This is a combination of F-Zero and Namco's pole position. It's a Game Boy Color fan game with an F-Zero look, but with pole position gameplay. And because this is a Game Boy Color game, that means you use Game Boy Color controls. This one has an interesting concept that I mentioned earlier, but I swear I cannot get first place for the life of me, not even on the game's normal difficulty. Though I like the different approach this game took, something tells me the difficulty needs some adjusting. I could have this on beginner but that just feels insulting. I like a fair and challenging experience in games, not be little with handicaps. The background and music in this caught my attention the most, but gameplay wise it could use some rebalancing with the difficulty, but that's just me. Fast RMX. Oh my god. Why is this not on PC? This is quite possibly the best F-Zero game I've ever experienced. And you mean to tell me that it's a Switch exclusive? And do you see for this one as I don't have a Switch on my own, but the gameplay itself was enough to leave a positive impression, minus all the slowdown I was going through. I really want this to run at a stable frame rate because for a game like this, having a smooth solid frame rate would make this bliss. Something that's bizarre about this game is the shifting of phases. Your vehicle can shift between either a blue or an orange phase and and interact with anything that's blue or orange. Kind of reminds me of the blue and orange mechanic from Undertale. The location is where I decided to see, the machines have great designs, and the speed is what the kids call French Kiss. This to me is a well-crafted F-Zero GS with an interesting gimmick on switching phases. My only complaint is that it's a Switch exclusive. I really wish there was another platform so that wasn't just Nintendo, especially when I can only imagine how much of a nightmare this would be playing online. As I wait for F-Zero to make an official comeback with either an HD port of F-Zero GX or just a new game altogether, or perhaps that F-Zero game that we never got, games like Aero GPX, Fast RMX, and perhaps even XS Formula Racing do just well to fill the void. Nintendo shouldn't even have an excuse to not bring F-Zero back, especially when I'm seeing all these awesome ideas in these games, or perhaps even some other ideas they haven't touched yet. So all these games prove that F-Zero still has room to grow and experiment, Nintendo focuses on F-Zero 99, the online only F-Zero Battle Royale game. As much as I love how this game looks is an online only battle royale game. Even with emulators, I can't play this and you have to fork over more money just to gain access to Nintendo's online service that crashes at random intervals. Shoutouts to all these creative developers for keeping the spirit of M-Zero alive with these games, while Nintendo needs to set their game up and bring back franchises that haven't had a game in over a decade, and F-Zero is one of them. Until then, I enjoy looking forward to what other F-Zero inspired games offer and how their ideas could potentially bring F-Zero back. If Nintendo ever wondered what they could do to F-Zero that hasn't been done already, look no further than these games right here. Just make sure the course editor doesn't go as frantic as this. I can't even with this.